Hello and welcome. This is my try on voiceover. I was going to vlog, but I was so sick. So I got to the show on Wednesday night. And the second that I got there, I felt so awful. Like on the drive there, I started feeling kind of sick. But I was like, I don't know, I've been in the car for a long time. Mm -mm. No, I got sicker and sicker every day and I was fighting for my life and I'm still sick. It's been a week and a half. I'm still sick. I went to the doctor and they were like, oh, you have strep throat. And I was like, no, I don't. Because I just had strep throat and it did not feel like this at all. And they were like, mm, you have strep throat. And I was like, I don't. And they tested me and they were like, actually, you don't have strep throat. I was like, sick. I know that. What do I have though? And they were like, I don't know. Just go home and drink some tea. <laughs> I am fighting for my life. I cannot drink tea. I was actually super, super happy with this show. So that was a plus at least. I was riding really well, even though I was sick. I think it's because I was like not stressed about my riding. I was like, let me not throw up. Let me not throw up while I'm riding. Let's get into it. Okay, so this was day one. I started off with Leo in the 80s. Um, and spoiler alert, he was really, really good in this trip. So I didn't do him in the 90s, but I was supposed to do him in those two. Um, but basically, we just wanted to get my confidence back at kind of a lower height. Because I haven't really been successful on Leo in the jumpers, as you may know, um, and I get just really nervous sometimes, so we were just making sure that that wasn't going to happen, but I actually didn't feel nervous at all because I was way too concerned about potentially vomiting off of my horse, which I did not want to do. Um, you can see to jump one, I really sat back and tried to use my leg. I feel like I've been riding Leo really well recently, um, with the exception of day two, but we'll get to that. Um, so I was actually like quite happy with the way I was riding. I was making really big turns though. I was going so slow. This pace isn't necessarily the issue. Like this is a great pace for the equitation, which is what we were practicing for anyway, because I thought that was what we were going to do the rest of the week. Ended up not being what we're going to do, but we'll get into that too. Um, but I was really focusing on just keeping him calm and I feel like I did a great job of that, and I thought we were actually really good. However, we were going at approximately four miles per hour, and I took the widest turns possible, so we did get 11 time faults, which was really funny, but nothing compared to the 27 time faults I got on CJ here two years ago, so, you know, we're improving. That jump was great. Um, I felt like I saw all the distances really, really well this day, which is kind of amazing and kind of miraculous, because that is not always my strong suit, um, as you may know. <laughs> if you watch this channel, um, and I thought I just had, like, a pretty easy time of everything on this particular trip, everything was just coming up, he was really good and really relaxed, um, I did do him in a standing martingale, which I think I'm gonna start doing him in a running martingale when we show in the jumpers, but other than that, I thought it was pretty amazing, and he was definitely, like, perfect, so we just scratched him, from the class after that that he was supposed to do because he really did not need to do it okay this is cj in the warm-up um <laughs> i'm showing you these clips because <laughs> this horse has adopted the weirdest jumping style ever he like straightens out his front two legs completely before the jump you can see it right there like it's so odd like i i mean however he needs to get over the jump is fine with me like it just feels so funny. And I was like, what is he doing? Like, there's something weird going on here. My trainer was like, look at this video. Um, but that was because I was deep. He over jumped that so much. And then after that jump, he just was launching into the air. But honestly, like, CJ, he's just the kind of horse where, like, he has a little bit of a baby brain. Like, he's almost seven, but he still, like, he just really lets things get to him, I think. Um... But it's not like he's not smart. Like, he's a super smart horse. He's very talented, super athletic, super cute, obviously. Um, but he's just kind of a goofball. And you know what? No shame in his goofball game, to be honest. I really don't mind. Um, I think, like, once I start riding better, it's not really going to matter when he gets in his head. So, honestly, he can do whatever he wants. Um, this is our 80 trip. He felt very good coming into this and usually I'm super nervous to show CJ this is my first time showing him in like a year and a half not a year and a half that's kind of like an exaggeration but like a year and a little bit um so I was like a little bit nervous but honestly 
the second we came into the ring, I just, just he felt so solid. I was like, we're good. We're fine. Um, first line, he was pooping, so I really had to kick. But other than that, I thought, like, we were fine. Um, I saw that right out of the corner, which is awesome. On CJ, it's always easier for me to ride up because I get a little nervous asking him to put a stride in because I get nervous that he's going to stop. But I really need to learn that he's not going to stop and that putting a stride in is way better than launching from 35 feet away, which <laughs> we do on the last day, which is really funny. Um, didn't quite get this lead change, but that kind of just happens sometimes. He gets a little bit like caught up in what he's doing and he doesn't really think about his legs, but it didn't really matter. He went over the jump anyway, right there. I just had to kick him at that one. He was spooking at the thing next to it a little bit, but... I mean, he was incredible this whole ride. Like, he was super, super confident. I trusted him. He trusted me. And it was really great. My equitation on this horse is not where it should be. I get very lean forwardy on him just because he's got kind of like a front leaning build. So, like, oh wait, we were super long to the last. I forgot about that. Um,. <laughs> And please enjoy this extremely disturbing video I took with the horse filter. Um, I just really thought I should share. Okay, so little debrief for day one. I was not that nervous, honestly, compared to like how I usually feel. Um, first day of a horse show, probably because I was showing pretty small. I did Leo in the 80s and CJ in the 90s, which is very funny. I don't know why I did my like broke horse in the 80s. I mean, I actually do. It's because the trainer did... Um, CJ in the 80s just to like make sure he was actually gonna jump um, but I was actually really impressed with both of the boys especially Leo he's been um, pretty quick recently so I was really impressed with us getting 11 time falls and being able to just slow down and like chill and then CJ I was really impressed with him because I do not show this horse like ever and I was just really happy with him I feel like he um, has grown up a lot. He's still definitely like a baby. I talked about it in the voiceover, but He's not the most mature for his age Like when we bought him he was four and he was like a super mature four-year-old and I was like, wow um, And honestly, he's kind of stayed at that level. So now he's like a super mature four-year-old except he's like almost seven So then it's like uh, like it, Yeah Honestly, I'm fine with that. I don't really care. He doesn't need to be, like, amazing right now. Like, he can take his time. Okay, so this was day two. I was a little bit nervous on this day because it was supposed to rain. And CJ really does not go well in the rain. But thankfully, he ended up going first and it had not started raining yet. So this is our 90 trip. Um, I was a little bit more nervous this day just because... I felt so, so sick. I, like, threw up, and it was, like, a whole thing, but, like, I pulled it together, and I was like, whatever, I'm here anyway, so let me just show, which was definitely an interesting decision, Caroline, but you know what? Go for it. Um, So, jump one was really good. You can see how he just jumps so hard, which is why he could not be my equitation horse. Well, there's a lot of reasons, but that's one of them, Um, and... I feel like I was riding a lot better this day, just like heels down, back up. I was kind of like sitting up more because I was not setting up in the schooling ring and it was causing a lot of problems. So I was really holding my body away from the jumps, which I feel like helps CJ a lot. Um, and he was really leaning into his new jumping style today, which was really funny to me. He was jumping really big over everything but honestly I feel like he was listening so well this day and I was like so insanely proud of him he um didn't get as much time in the ring with the trainer before that she still wrote him but it just wasn't like their course was pretty chill so he didn't really get like a good look at everything I think but he was still really really good and he was just really calm I was so so proud of him and yeah I thought that was really amazing so when Leo's round started, sorry, I know it's really blurry. I don't really know why that is. Um, it had already started raining and it was raining really hard when we were warming up, but the rain had kind of chilled out. So that's why I'm wearing a rain jacket. Um, I was not feeling well at this point at all. Jump one was pretty good. And then Leo was not liking the rain. So you can see he kind of kicked out in that lead change. Um, but I think the biggest issue that was happening, well, actually I'll talk about it in the debrief, but um, that line was actually really nice. I rode that pretty well. 
And then coming through here, I did the exact same thing on CJ, but he didn't take off. Leo tried to, but it was just too long, and so I ended up falling forward really hard. He, like, stuttered. I know you can't see it very well in this video, but we basically just three-legged it. I asked him to leave way too long, and then he was like, let me leave short. I had to just collect myself for a second and then come back to this jump, and then I just lied to him again. I was like, jump now, and he was like, fine, I'll do it this time, and then I didn't go with him at all. Um, and then just coming to this in and out, he was like, you're not making good decisions today. I don't want to do this. And I was like, that's fine. So, okay. Day two recap, CJ, I'll start with him because that'll be much quicker, but he was really, really good. I was super happy with him. Um, I thought he was like really focused and listening to me really well and tried his best. So that's really all I can ask of him. He's definitely still like a little bit of a baby, but I think he just like tried so hard and he was so good. And we actually like, were really like successful in the um 90s and i don't know that's kind of all i can ask for leo it was not his fault really at all um what happened was to the first i was good second i was good third i was good and then to that fourth jump i just saw super long so i kicked him out of the turn and it just wasn't there so he put in an extra stride um and he kind of just three-legged it um, crashed through the top rail, which, you know, never ideal. I lost a stirrup. I, like, smashed my face on his neck, <laughs> and that's happened to us before, and I went to the jump and fell off, so I did not want to do that again, so I circled, and we just did a really nice brief circle. I got my stirrup back, and I just went right back to the jump, which, honestly, like, that's what I should have done, and that's what I did, so that's great. Um, and then I just did the same thing. I just saw super long. And then I was like, oh, wait, that's too long. I just did this. So then I pulled and, like, didn't get into position, really. But he was like, no, girl, that's not too long. We have to jump from there. And then we landed from the jump. And he was just like, girl, you just lied to me twice. You just said I should take off when I shouldn't have twice in a row. And then we were coming to the in and out which already he is a little bit less confident going into in and outs and he was just like no i'm not doing that um you are not riding well and i was like that's fair enough so honestly that was fine we went out jumped one in the schooling ring he was totally fine so you know what happens sometimes i'm really not that mad about it to be honest okay so day three this was saturday definitely our most successful day um Leo and I did the meter, which was good. Oh, we did the meter yesterday, too. That's what we were doing when we stopped out, but I forgot to say that. Um, Anyway, we did the meter today, and I was feeling pretty confident, honestly. Like, I don't know. I felt fine this whole show weekend. Like, I was really not that nervous. Um, Jump one, I saw a gorgeous distance, too. It was really inviting. Jump one, they made it, like, really low, which, you know, always appreciate that. Um, Then just coming to jump two saw in gorgeous i really had a woe because the lines were riding really tight um as you'll see it later in the video um, but this jump was gorge i love that jump definitely my favorite jump on course and that was a little bit long i mean no the distance was fine but i just like didn't really get with him um i was a bit long into the in and outs both of the in and outs i was a bit long in but he covered it up so nicely and just backed off of the middle right there a little bit deep got him a little bit too close um, a little bit under it which is why he jumped it like that but recovered that was gorgeous and then this i really could have gotten him back our pace was much faster today as you could tell um that was good and then coming around here i turned a little bit wide but who cares and i was long in this was supposed to be a seven and everyone was doing it in six i did it in six um and I saw two people do it in five, so honestly, not even bad, but anyway, I was super, super happy with that with Leo. We got a blue ribbon, and he was just amazing, so I was super happy. I didn't want to do any of my other trips on him because I really didn't feel like he needed to do them. So this is Siege. We are doing the 90, and today we had a um, first round and then a jump off, so I was trying to make it into the jump off, obviously. Um... CJ felt super game today. He was really good in the schooling ring. It was really, really windy this day. It was like a wind tunnel, but, um, so he was a little bit spooky with the pro when she did him, but when I got on him, uh, it got a little bit less windy, so he chilled out a little bit. Um, anyway, he was really good to that first jump, 
and then after that I just knew he was going to be game. I'm carrying a crop just because he was a little bit spooky, um, so just in case, but I didn't need to use it, obviously. That was just, I was a little bit deep because my turn was a little bit wonky, and then I had to kind of really ride him out because he doesn't have as big of a stride as Leo does, even though he still has actually a really big stride, but um, coming to this jump, I was a little bit deep, but it worked out. I was proud of myself for asking for a deeper distance. Right there was Gorge. Um, my equitation just is not as good on this horse. This jump came up really nicely. Then um, we just didn't get this lead change. I'm not great with the lead changes on him. You have to be really intentional about them, which I don't always remember to do. Um, coming to here, I was nervous because he tried to stop here with my trainer, but he um, did not try to stop, so that was awesome. Here, that was cray, girl. That was fucking cray. Um, I saw Long, and he was like, all right, let's do it. And I was like, wait, what? We're doing it? And he was like, we're doing it. And so we did it. Um, <laughs> and then coming through here, I saw Long again, really rode him down this line, and we did six again. So I did six in a seven on both my horses, which was really funny. But um, we actually ended up making it into the jump off. So this was our jump off round. I didn't think anyone else had made it into the jump off yet or something. Um, there was like a lot of people in this class, and... At, I think we were maybe the first ones to make it in the jump off and like there were not a lot of people left so I was like this must be a rough situation I don't even know um I was super long the first it, it's the thing is it's not even long it's just that I don't go with him so it makes it look super long so I just needed to like get with it a little bit more um that jump was perfect not long and crazy like the first time this turn I tried to make it really nice and tidy um CJ doesn't turn the best but we're working on it so that was actually really nice and then coming here, we maintained the wrong lead, which was really funny. Um, and we just jumped over that. That's so equitation horse of him. Love it. Um, could have been a little tighter in this turn, but I was honestly just really nervous about this jump still. So I was like, let's not do that. Gorgeous jump over that. I didn't want to make the inside turn here because that is just too risky on this little guy. But um, we made the outside turn and it worked out gorgeously. And we were first after the jump off. We were the only people that actually made it in the jump off. We had one time fault. Um, but then we ended up fifth in the class, which is actually really good. There was a lot of people in it, so I was super proud of him. Okay, day three recap. Um, I was honestly so happy with both boys. I thought they were really amazing. And this was probably one of the best days of showing I've ever had. I was super proud of Leo. I thought our trip was amazing. Um, we definitely had that more like jumpery pace and he was really, really good. Couldn't ask for more from him. And then Siege, I was so, so proud of him because even though he was spooky, he, like, let it get to him a little bit in the beginning, but he really just recovered so nicely. And, I mean, we made it to the jump off. I was shocked that we were in first. We had a time fault in the jump off and we were still in first. <laughs> but um, we ended up finishing fifth, so I was so proud of him. And I thought the boys were really amazing. Um, and it was... It was great but couldn't ask for more so i felt really horrible at the end of this like i literally got off cj after that jump off and i was like somebody carry me to the car um so i felt like actually awful and my trainer was like well that was a really good day you don't really need to show tomorrow if you don't want to and i was like oh perf so i went home because i felt like shit so um i still feel like shit actually which is awesome today's the first day that i was like able to drag my ass out of bed yeah awesome um i have had to pause this video like 70 times to go like cough up snot which is so cute so yeah um saturday ended up being the last day of our show but for good reason so that's nice i'm excited to feature cj more on the channel i'm gonna start showing him a lot more it is my last junior year i only have a few months left showing as a junior so we're gonna make the most of it i'll keep you guys updated on that journey obviously and see you in the next video hope you loved this hope you really enjoyed this i am so sick